And former NFL tackle Jonathan Martin uh, posted on Facebook that uh, difficulties in, in uh, the profession that led him to attempt suicide multiple times. He wanted to share his struggle with uh, uh, social isolation to help uh, uh, others. And, and Martin, who's retired this year, said his problems date to childhood. And, I mean, it's tough to be an athlete. You know, everybody hangs around with you. you got all these rounders around you, and, 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 and then, you know, money runs out or you don't get the contract, and, and they drop you like a bad habit. No, Jonathan Martin went very public a couple of years ago as a rookie with the Dolphins, but what was going on with him, uh, with Richie Incognito and with other players, there was a full report done. Well, he was bullied by his teammates. He was, he was, was severely bullied, and, yeah. And, and, and Incognito he, was he out of the league. Very, very seriously. Yeah, Incognito was out of the league. The Dolphins were fined. Uh, coaches were reprimanded. Uh, officials were fired because people were not on top of this. Bullying and hazing has been an issue with football for a long, long time. It, I mean, it doesn't even start the NFL. It starts back in high school. I played high school football. There was a ton of hazing uh, where I grew up based on what rookies had to do. And then uh, get... we, we, it wasn't allowed. I, I went to St. Basil's. It wasn't allowed. But you know, there, there was happened. When, you know, you, when you're the when you're the, the rookie or it's your first year, there's always some assholes who think that uh, the best way to welcome uh, young these young scared kids is by uh, m- uh, manipulating them and bullying them and, and uh, hurting them and scaring them. Well, you know, now it's gone to the point where mo- what most teams do is the rookies will pay for a dinner. Everyone will go out and the rookies will be on the tab and have to pay thousands of dollars for the veterans to go and have uh, good good steaks and wine, and that's all good. But, you know, the but that's no that's big the, deal. But when, when people get urinated on, or that's stuff, right. That's, and that's, that's when they're going at them. And that's, I think that's yeah. fucking yeah. disgusting, and that's, it, I wouldn't stand for that shit. Well, the thing is, Jonathan Martin stood for it for a long time, and then he spoke out, and then it got way worse because the text messages he got from players when Jonathan Martin revealed what was going on were a lot of very, very grotesque, disgusting messages about, I'm going to do this to your family, I'm going to do this to your sister. He got it really, really bad, and there were a ton of reports, so this has all been validated as to what, what went on. And Jonathan Martin, was, you know, listen, he was dealt. He, he couldn't play anymore. It, this this war, took a toll on him. And it's a, it's a terrible situation because... I think the NFL mishandled it. And, uh, you know, I think that's another big black eye. And if, if that shit still mm-hmm. goes on in, in, in professional sport with grown men, uh, you know, type of hazing or type of uh, uh, bullshit, right? You know, it's one thing. When I was a kid, uh, I got a job at Mahar Shoes at Yorkdale. And the big thing is... When you got a job, they they they, they pull a prank. So they tell you uh, the new salesman go to the other shoe stores in the mall, and ask them if you can get a shelf stretcher, if you could borrow a shelf stretcher. Well, there's no such thing as a fucking shelf stretcher, but you make you know. So they play the game, but that's harmless. That's a harmless prank. Right. It what happened to Jonathan, What happened to Jonathan Martin was not harmless, um, and. Uh, as I said, I mean, listen, he blew the whistle, and that's the a lot of rookies are quiet in, in the in, in professional. But when sport, he blew the whistle, it made it worse for him because there was a lot of uh, um, uh, with a backlash against him by the other players. You know, the saying that he was a sucker, almost right. like the you know the uh, the the Tom Cruise movie and the Jack Nicholson movie, A Few Good Men, where yep. where, where uh, the code red was allowed in the military, right? That's right, and 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 and, and it's, you know that's the analogy I'm trying to give you, but uh, you know he made it worse for himself. He he thought he was doing a, a, a favor uh, by saying it to help anybody else who who was afraid to come forward. And but, I, you know I, he was trying to protect yeah, himself because it got to the point where he couldn't take it anymore, and he had to say something. And, you know, what happens is now the veterans on this team, like like I mentioned, Richie Incognito, who was the guy, the main guy involved, he was he was punished severely by the NFL. And was uh, uh, Incognito was the ringleader. Uh, he, was, he was the guy was that the ringleader. And he was the guy who really had, uh, he thought it was funny by busting this guy's balls and, and, and bullying him and, 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 and continuously doing that. 
That's what I read. My mis- uh, my mis- no, no, stuff. you're no Richie. He was absolutely. I mean, listen, I've read all the texts that went on. This was, you know, this happened a couple years ago, and there were all the texts were were they were available to read on the internet. Um, there was a full report. Uh, the Dolphins were found guilty. The Dolphins did not handle this correctly. Coaches that were aware of what was going on. Well, the Dolphins not, not the players would deal with it. You know, players bust each other's balls all the time. That's. Yeah, they do, but, you know, some players can take it and some can't. And, and, you know, listen, Jonathan Martin has said that this stems back to his childhood. So he went there, and he, you know, he was at Stanford and before that, and he played under a really good coach in Jim Harbaugh, and he didn't have issues there. But he, um, he, he obviously was, did not have the, the strength of being able to sort of, you know, just laugh things off or be able to – you know, just take it and move on. Obviously, it took a toll, and you can't blame them for that. Some people are able to withstand more punishment than others, and Jonathan Martin... That's not, that, but, but that's not a joke. Those aren't pranks. No, it's not a joke at all. I should say your family is going to be... Uh, your stuff. They were, they were, they were, they were very uh, crude jokes made and comments made about his sister um, and and things like that, which obviously... Uh, we're, we're, we're well, well over the line. Well, you know the other thing that I don't know anything about? Jonathan Martin, a Stanford student, yeah. almost appears to be too good to be true. So here he is in a 70-player te- team, and is there not one guy who would stand up for that kid? You is know, it's hard not- because you make a great point, Billy, but if you stand up for Jonathan Martin... What you're doing is you're going now against all the other you're veterans who are doing it. You're going against the grain of, of what right. the team's ideology is. I, I, that, that's why I think Jonathan Martin was different, and I say that in all due respect. I don't know him, but I can't think of a team that would be so malicious and so hard-hearted as to watch a kid disintegrate. Oh, come on, come on, Bill. I, 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 I saw that in high school. I saw that in elementary school. They, they pick a weak person, and, and they, he becomes the butt, or she becomes the butt of everybody's joke, and they, they go over and over and over because they can get away with it. Yeah, but they shouldn't and, be able to get away with it on a team. Uh, well, they shouldn't. They shouldn't get away with it on a fucking team. It shouldn't happen in a fucking business. And it, it shouldn't happen in a business, and it shouldn't happen especially for children who are in school. And if anybody ever did that to my child, I would be in jail. I would be in fucking prison. I, you know, a kid needs to look forward to going to school to learn and to be, be, be where, where, you know, you're only a kid once and enjoy your childhood. And there's these assholes, these fucking morons who pick on somebody who's a little different or who was, who shows, actually, I, I don't think the word is different. Show is a little weakness. Yeah, I, I, Frank, I think you made a great point earlier. I think I think the whole Dolphins team perceived him as being weak, and you yeah. know because because he maybe he couldn't handle the stuff the way the other. Well, Bill, as Bill soon as you in the head, I, I was a Stanford, uh, you know, uh, guy, a uh, smart smart scholar, an intelligent guy, yeah. and uh, you know whether it was that a jealousness, a jeal- jealousy, or was that of uh, uh, the right word is malicious. Uh, they they are uh, they all decided to make him the the the, the kicking bag or the, the fucking mascot to get out their frustrations. And there's no and, and there's and, no excuse for it. whether he was weak or whether he wasn't or whether he was I, different no or whether he wasn't. Be, there's no excuse I, I, I how he was treated. I don't to be uh, the greatest human being in the world, but I wouldn't fucking stand for it. No. I never stood for it in high school. Never, and I don't stand for it now.